Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys my favorite features of the new update for the Apple TV, which is 9.2. Uh, just arrived a couple days ago, so I'm going to show you guys some of the cool features. Um, here, make sure you go to settings if you haven't updated yet. Then go to systems, and here go to software updates, and make sure you hit the software update. And you're going to see the update right here. Just follow the instructions, and that's it. Once it reboots, you're ready to go. Uh, one thing that was added here that was not available before is this right here. It says what's new. Uh, what's new is very cool because uh, you open it up after every update and you can see what feature was added with the latest update. So there you go. You have all the features available right there. If you update it and you don't know what's new, there it goes. Uh, multitask has been changed uh, the way it looks. So if you double press the home button on your Siri controller and you double press it, this is what you're going to get now. You're going to get some sort of cards looking. And if you want to go directly here, right, tap right there, it takes you to the store. Double tap again and it opens up like this. So if it looks a lot, I think it's identical to the iPad and to iPhones the way multitask actually works there. So that's a different feature that was added here. The other feature that was added was Siri dictation. So here, let's go into search. Um, th remember, this is gonna apply to everywhere you have to write. Um, if you have to write a password, an email, uh, 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 search something in the app store or search so or write something in an app, this is gonna apply to that. Instead of writing here with the keyboard on the screen, uh, you're now gonna be able to press the Siri button and dictate. Uh, but in my case, I had to look for it and activate it here. So let's go ahead and settings. Uh, let's go ahead here to in, in general, right? Let's click here in general. Go ahead here and now you have dictation. Uh, press it, now you're gonna turn it on. So now if we go back here to search or any app that requires writing, tap right there, look at that. Now you have the hold Siri button to dictate search. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the Siri button and say something. MLB. Boom. There you go. You got results right there. It was written up there. Like you see there, it says MLB. And you got results for shows. And you also have results for apps. So, yes, another new feature here for this update is that now with the Siri, you can now search for apps from the App Store. That is another cool feature as well. Like, for example, if I press and hold and say um, break, um, Broken Age. Broken age. Boom. Uh, now it's going to open the app. Like you see there, so it, it opened the app in the app store. And now I can buy it or I could preview it right here. But other than that, Siri didn't really change at all. The only thing that really changed is the uh, dictation that now you can talk and write everything up here instead of typing. And the other feature is, of course, uh, searching for specific apps like UFC app. Boom. There you go. So now it opens the UFC app. Awesome. A little feature that was added is, um, for example, here, when you go to screensaver mode, uh, like you see there, it says, uh, there's a message now that says AirPlay, send what's on your iOS device or computer to this display using AirPlay, blah, 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 blah. This is called conference mode. And what it is, it's the, it's, it shows you that right there really didn't change that much because you could do AirPlay back then with your smartphone, tablet, or your computer. But now they added that feature here. If you go to... Um, on general, let me see, uh, AirPlay. You go to AirPlay and now you have room, conference room display. Um, here you have to turn it on because um, that's not gonna appear by default. So you have to turn it on right here. You can see the preview, how it's gonna look. Like this is good like if you are in a conference, of course, and you want to share something with everybody and it goes to screensaver mode. Um, you're gonna see the message right there. And some, let's say somebody else wants to do it. They could just uh, sling it, um, airplay it to the, t to the TV or to the display in the conference. That's very cool. Uh, you can also write a message here as well. 
and this is going to appear in that screensaver as well like for example i hope you guys have a great day boom click right there click done boom look at the message right there right under apple tv it says i hope you guys have a great day um, you can also change the photo uh, you can change the photo to Apple Photos or My Photos. If I choose Apple Photos, it's going to show me a bunch of photos from animals, flowers, landscape, nature, and shots on iPhone 6. And that's it. So now if we um, go back again, right? Hit the menu button. Once we're here, hit the menu button. And there you go. Look at that. You have the message right there. And you have the little message that you wrote in the bottom. I said, I hope you guys have a great day. One of the best features that was added was folders. Now you can organize all your apps inside of folders and name your folders in different categories. Like you see there, sports, video games, games, entertainment. And it's very, very easy. Like, for example, let's go ahead and show you guys. If I press and hold Pandora, uh, it starts wiggling, right? And now with the controller, I could go ahead and slide it any, anywhere I want. So if I put it, um, let's say I put it hover over a folder, boom, it just inserts the app inside the folder. Then I can go back again, press the home button, and there you go. Now the fo the game or the app is in the folder. Uh, that's very, very cool. To create a folder is very easy as well. Uh, like for example, if I press and hold here, and I press, uh, put it over a nap, boom, there you go. It, uh, and like you see there, it automatically names the folder as well. But if here, you could go ahead and name it whatever you want. Like if I want to, let's see if I want to write something, cancel write something here. Games for kids. Boom, there you go. Games for kids. And there you have it. Awesome. Uh, another thing you could do here is, for example, press and hold an app you press the play and pause button on your controller and now you have this option right here you have delete new folder you can create a new folder from here uh, move to entertainment move to video games move to sports move to games move to games for kids so right here is going to show you all the folders that are available already all the folders created already it's going to show you guys right here so in this case i'm going to move this to sports boom and now it should be in sports let's see yep there it is in sports just like that and of course from here you can also create another folder as well um press hold uh create new folder bump jumps there you go it adds a new folder and i could go ahead here and write tools that's it there you have it and that's you how you create a uh folders here uh, with the new awesome update the feature that was added here was photos icloud photos here uh for me i thought this feature was available already available here but i guess it wasn't uh so now if you use this feature on your smartphone or on your ipad uh you can have access to your icloud photos right here so that's cool to know and lastly one of the greatest features that was added to this update was bluetooth wireless keyboards yes uh, so to activate that i have a bluetooth wireless keyboard that i covered a couple weeks ago which i'm going to be using for this video uh, here let's go to settings right um, and right here we're going to go ahead to uh, remotes and devices we're going to go ahead okay this is switching to audio tv um, here we're going to go ahead to bluetooth and right here is going to start scanning. So on my keyboard that I'm going to be using now, I'm going to go ahead and put it on pairing mode. So I put the keyboard on pairing mode and there it is. It's available right away. Wow, that was very fast. So here I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. And uh, sometimes some keyboards are going to ask you for a code. Uh, this one right here did not ask me for a code whatsoever. So in this case, now, like, see there, you saw the message that uh, I can now use the keyboard as my controller. So with, this is very cool because if you have one of those keyboards with um, uh, sw um, pads and all that, um, that would be very, very cool as well. And like, see here, I am pressing the buttons on my controller, uh, my keyboard, and I am controlling 
everything that I do here on the Apple TV. Um, same thing goes with um, creating like a folder. I could go ahead, um, tap and hold center, enter button, and I can move the app around using the keyboard. Right now I'm using the keyboard here. Um, and for example, if I want to put it inside a folder, it's going to be a little bit hard because uh, with the keys, I cannot like hover over an app. But what you can do is if you have a keyboard with a media button, just press the play button, right? The play and pause button. And you're going to have the option here. Like you see there, this is I'm, I'm using the keyboard here and it's pretty badass. It feels very smooth. So if I press enter there, boom, it's going to put the app right there in entertainment awesome so here i am just using the keyboard and it works very very good same thing goes if you're um, typing something uh you can go ahead here and start typing something as well um legit <laughs> okay <laughs> like see there <laughs> very 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 cool uh depending on the keyboard you have it's going to be the experience you're going to um, have here on the Apple TV. But um, with the keyboard that I have, which is not, you know, it's not a very, very expensive keyboard. is a foldable keyboard that I did a video a couple weeks ago, and it works perfectly good. I could go ahead through all the apps here. I could go ahead and put folder uh, apps in folders. I could use the uh, media buttons. I could use the volume buttons as well. So that's it, guys. Uh, just wanted to share this update with you guys. Uh, just to let you know a couple cool features that was added with the 9.2 update for Apple TV. If you have any questions, please go ahead and ask, and I'll be gladly answering them. Till next time, guys.